Hi everyone, my name is Aubrey Watt and today I'm going to be doing a basic tutorial on how to make a book cover in GIMP. So hopefully you already have GIMP installed and you already have the picture that you want to use. So go ahead and go to file and just open up the picture that you want to use for your book cover. And for me it's going to be this picture of a barn. And before we do any other work on this picture, I'm going to rename it so that we don't change the original file. So go to File, Save As, and then just call it whatever you want your book title to be. So I'm going to do Book Title, and we don't want to save it as a JPEG. We want to save it as XCF, which is the GIMP image file name. Um, so what this is going to do, it's going to let us make changes to this file without changing the original picture. So save it as title.xcf and then just hit save. Alright, so now we have booktitle.xcf that we're going to make all of our changes to right here. And you should have your toolbox on the left and the layers dialog on the right. If you don't have that open, you can go to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and the tool options will pull up the toolbox on the left, and the layers option will pull up the layers on the right. So do that now if you don't already have it. And we have this little picture of whatever your picture is in the layers. If it's not there, just click Auto and it should pop up. So now the next step we're going to do is resize our, our layer. Um, so we go to Layer, Scale Layer. And what we were going to do is just change the width here to something nice and round. I usually like to do 2000 by 3000 book cover, so I'm going to change my width to 2000. And now notice that it's locked right here. That means that if I change the width, it'll automatically change the height for me. And we want that for any picture where we don't want it to be skewed. So if it's unlocked like that, just click it to lock it. And then change the width layer. You'll see wherever you click, it'll automatically change the height for you and hit scale. Now notice that this is zoomed in a little bit too much. So the first tool we're going to use in our toolbox is the zoom tool, which looks like a magnifying glass. The characteristics will pop up at the bottom and we want to zoom out. Okay, so now we have the whole picture in view. It's nice and pretty. Now the next step is going to be to resize our canvas. So we're going to go to image, we're going to go to canvas size and now what we want to do is we're actually going to unlock this we want the same width but we want to change the height so that it is a 2 to 3 ratio of width to height so I always do 2000 by 3000 if you started out with 1000 it's 1500 if you started out with 600 it's going to be 900 use your calculator to multiply the width by 1.5 and that's going to be your height and then just hit resize and now notice what happened here. Uh, we have the image right up here at the top and then this area right here is our canvas. That's what we're going to be working on as our book cover. And the little checkers, the gray checkerboard, that just means it's transparent, that there's nothing there. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is learn how to use the move tool because we want to move the picture to wherever we want it. Um, so you can use this move tool, which is the arrows and move the picture to wherever you want it to go. But it can get a little sloppy because if you're not perfect, it's not going to line up exactly right. So rather than use the Move tool here, I'm actually going to use the Align tool, which is a little trickier. All the Align tool does is when you click it and then click the picture, you'll see the little boxes pop up in all the corners. And then what you can do is use these buttons to align it wherever you want. So for example, if you want it to go to the top, you'll click this one, or the bottom. If you want to go in the, in the middle, or centered. So I want mine centered and I want to put it at the bottom, I think. So that's what I'm going to do. And now the next thing that you would do is if you wanted to scale the picture to make it bigger or smaller, you can do that here as well. And we could do that um, either by doing, again, layer, scale, layer. But I'm going to show you the other tool to scale a layer, and that is this tool right here. And it's the scale tool. So again, if you have your scale tool and then you click on whatever the layer is, 
it's going to allow you to make the picture bigger or smaller just by dragging. And what we want here is we want it to be locked so that it doesn't get skewed. I mean, if you want to have a really tall barn, I guess you could unlock it and then make it super tall like that, but we don't we don't want that. Um, so what you'd want to do is just go ahead and lock it so that it changes the same for both. And then you can make your barn bigger, or smaller, or what have you. And I actually like it the way it was, so I'm just going to cancel it. All right, and that's the first step for opening it and resizing the layer in the canvas. In the next section, we're going to be using layers to add a background um, and then putting in a nice little gradient to make it mesh well.